YouTube, how's it going? It's Multiply here. Now, if you've ever had to plug anything in, could be a set of speakers into a sound card, or it could be a sort of analog -y drum machine thing into a sound card, or anything at all, anything that involves wires, in particular audio wires, you, you may have come holding this the wrong way around. You may have noticed that they're not all exactly the same. So both of these ends, for example, are quarter inch, quarter inch, and they look a, a bit like that. So these are both quarter inch cables, but they're different. Also, you may have noticed that button, oh, made a noise. Oh, look at that. You may have noticed that also, looking at, you probably can't hear me, can you? Let me just get the mic. That's okay, you, you can hear me from back here. So, that's okay, I'll just talk slightly louder, even though I'm further away from the mic now. So you may have also noticed that on some speakers, you see these two options, or maybe just some words such as unbalanced or balanced. And also you may have seen these words in manuals. Manuals for sound cards, etc., and etc., etc., etc. So what does it all mean? Oof, good question, good question, good question. I shall answer the question quickly as the room heats up to 500,000 degrees centigrade which is the temperature right now. So let me put this on here. I can show you close up, close up, close up what this all means. It's, it's really, really important knowledge actually. And it will help make everything, first of all, work and not only work, it will make it potentially at least not noisy. Right, cheers. So zoom, ba -ba 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 -ba, focus. Oh, that was fantastic. Look at that, everyone. So these are the two cables in question. I'm gonna do this all stylistically. So. Both of these are exactly the same size, one quarter of an inch, and therefore they will both fit in exactly the same hole. Now, I know you're thinking, stick it in the hole if it fits, happy days. But when it comes to audio cables, at least, there's more to it. Can you spot, I'm gonna hold two amps with this. Can you see the difference between these two cables? I've been holding them here for a while now. Can you see the difference between these two ends? The one on the left has a middly bit that isn't on the one on the right. The one on the left is called a TRS for tip ring sleeve, and the one on the right is called tip sleeve or TS or other names. But do you see why they have these names? Tip ring sleeve and oh, one on the left, tip ring sleeve, one on the right, Tip sleeve. I am extremely hot in here, so let's 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 speed up the knowledge. So basically, oh, oh, back into back into focus. So this one, the TS, is a simple mono cable. It carries a single channel of audio, one channel of audio, unbalanced. This one could do potentially two channels of audio, unbalanced. So stereo. That's one option at least. Unbalanced mono, unbalanced stereo, or, and now, now, now here's the really big important or, or the one on the left can be mono balanced. Oh, what's it doing? There you go. So this one with the tip ring and sleeve, so more stuff than this one, this one can be either unbalanced stereo or balanced mono. Remember, stereo carrying two channels of audio information, but mono just carrying one. This one can never be balanced and also never be stereo. There's just not enough wires inside. Oh, I'm, ex oh, I'm extremely hot. This is ridiculous. This is, this is ridiculous. I can't work in these conditions, health and safety. I've, I've been using these words, the balanced and not balanced. Why are they important? So basically, balanced allows you to balanced I'm gonna stand up for this. Ooh, and uh, uh, because of science, a balanced audio cable has a lot less noise, less noise, and also less prone to interference from other things such as RF and a whole bunch of stuff. So basically, balanced a. So let's say we want to let's give you an example. Let's give you an example. So first of all, on this cable, ignore the fact this end has two bits. Pretend using uh, pretending. Uh, pretend that this is the same as this. Because uh, I couldn't find a short 
version of, of this one. So this one, for all this one, for all 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 all, all of, of this video, actually has this, the tip ring sleeve, the TRS, on both ends. So let's say we wanted to connect a mono to a mono, so a single channel audio, a mono to a mono, then if we used an unbalanced cable, that'd be more prone to noise and interference. And if we used an I say that right? I think so. We could use an unbalanced cable and it would, would still work, but might have some interference from stuff around it, noise, etc. Whereas the balanced version, the TRS, I'm bumped into the tripod a bit, the balanced one would be less prone to noise and stuff. So that's probably the one we want to use. But it's not always as simple as that because this whole idea of being either say stereo unbalanced or unbalanced mono or balanced mono, all of that assumes the other end is doing the same thing. So for example, let's go around here again. Forgot to move the mic again. Put that there, that there. Don't panic, multiply, don't panic. Ugh. Panic, panic. Connecting my sound card, which is that red guy over there, which I can do artistic focus to draw your attention to. That sound card, I want to connect to my monitors and OVs, obviously. Each wire will only carry one channel of audio because a speaker only has one channel of audio, not two. So there's a mono signal going from my sound card to my speaker, my monitor. And you can see there are two options, XLR or unbalanced. Now, XLR is a balanced signal, effectively the same as in terms of the wiring, except different bits at the end of the wiring. But internally, the XLR cable is the same as the balanced TRS, the tip ring sleeve, the better one, if you like. So what I've done is convert XLR to that cable there, which is balanced TRS or tip ring sleeve. Note, I could have actually used an XLR to balanced TRS, but at the time, I, for whatever reason, I, I did it this way. I cannot remember why. No logic behind it, just did. And it works exactly the same, apart from the fact I have a, a bit of an adapter there. But that's okay. As you can see though, this unbalanced one to the right would be another option if for whatever reason, we can get a balanced signal going in. Remember, it doesn't really cost any more money to do it balanced versus unbalanced. It's just something you've got to factor in. Otherwise, you might have a, a bit of noise introduced or it might, might just go a bit weird. Still recording? Oh, yeah, I'm still recording. It's very, very hot in here. Also, balanced versus unbalanced. It's an important consideration because all the audio gear you're connecting assumes you know about it all. And so if you want everything to work properly with no additional interference problems, noise problems, then you need to just be aware of it and choose the appropriate cable. If you're unsure, if for whatever reason it doesn't say, like it does on the monitor, it says unbalanced or XLR. If it doesn't say, then you need to read the manual, which is fine. Manuals aren't terrifying, unless you are terrified by manuals. Don't be terrified by manuals. They contain useful information. So for example, if I wanted to check the, the inputs or the outputs or whatever, for a piece of hardware, I can check on the, the, the manual, the, the manual, 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 the manual. But I've got it saved on Dropbox. And uh, I'll, I'll do an, an image on, I'm looking at it here, but I'll, I'll include it off to the side. So what I could do is I could look on the rear panel and go, oh cool, what are these line inputs? What are these line outputs? Oh cool, is this it? The inputs are balanced on quarter inch jack sockets using either quarter inch TRS balanced or TS unbalanced jack plugs. So in that case, for the line inputs, we have the option, but of course, because we have the option, we're getting over balanced because it's better. And it also says here for the line outputs, for balanced analog line outputs, use TRS jacks for a balanced connection or unbalanced. So again, here you have options for both, that's good. What further more can you conclude from this? I can conclude another thing. What we can also conclude um, is, let me show you. So in this situation where I'm connecting sound card, one cable connecting a stereo signal into a headphone amp and then into my headphones, that's unbalanced, which means it's not actually 
Perfect. If you had a more expensive headphone out, um, this one's quite cheap one. Let's go around the back for you. Go around the back. If in doubt, go around the back. Try the back. Try the back door. Right. Because this headphone amp is cheap. Zoom, focus, focus, focus. Because this headphone. Up to shout again. Because this headphone amp is cheap, then there isn't an option for balanced inputs. It's just unbalanced. So I don't actually have any choice here. I've just got a stereo unbalanced. Whereas the more expensive headphone amps, I will share a picture of one now, give the option for normally both, uh, either this and or something else as well. But at least on the more expensive ones, at least on the more expensive ones, sometimes you have the option to have a balanced signal for each channel. Balanced on the left, balanced for the right. And that, of course, is better because there's less interference. Oof. Something's not always, do the words. Sometimes you don't have the choice necessarily. But when you do have the choice, such as on a more expensive headphone amp or monitors like I did here, uh, or even sometimes other bits and bobs, when you have the choice, you want to go for balanced. Knowledge, power, fun, and opportunity. Opportunity to make better cable decisions. So yes, there is, there is opportunity here. And then put that on there. Knowledge, power, fun, opportunity. Multiplier. My name has a multiplier. I will catch you guys. It is hot in here, isn't it? Let's turn that off. I will catch you guys. on the running out of ideas for flippity flips. On this, what? I don't know what this is. Art, it's art. Backwards L for love. Actually, it's got a tangly bit as well, just not at all. I'll work on it. I'll, I'll, I'll think of some more ideas. All of that. 